Murray here with Positive Futures Dog Training and Behavior, and today we are going to talk about how to teach your dog paws up. We're going to use a luring method for this, where I use the food to encourage my dog to pull her front feet up on an object. Whenever you're working on this exercise, make sure that you have, come here baby, sit, go ahead. Make sure that you have some traction underneath, so even if you're working on hardwoods, put a runner underneath or even a yoga mat, and this is gonna help make sure that your dog has traction and they're not slipping and sliding. The other thing to take into consideration is the height of the object that you're asking them to put their feet on. For puppies or young dogs whose growth plates are not closed, we wanna pick a surface that's a little bit lower. Same thing for older dogs who might have a decrease in mobility. We also wanna make sure that the object they're putting their feet on has some traction because we don't want them putting their feet up and slipping. So if it's a slippery surface, you could wrap that surface in a yoga mat to help give a little bit more traction. So I've got some food in my hand here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and use it to pull my dog forward and I'm gonna click and treat her as she, oh good girl, as she puts her feet up on that object. If your dog is worried about it, girl, you can start rewarding them a little further back. So, come on, baby. So if she's further away from the object, I can pull her forward a foot, click and treat, pull her forward, click and treat, and then pull them forward up on the object, click one foot, click two foot. Okay, good girl, off, nice. And we'll do it again, feet up, there, good girl. Now what I'm gonna start to do is put it on cue so that I can ask for it verbally versus using a food lure. So I'm, real quick, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did, but without food. Nice. So there's no food in my hand this time. Off. I'm gonna use this same hand motion like when I had food, but now the hand is empty and the food comes out after I get those feet up. Off. Good girl. Good girl. And one more time. Nice. Food comes out after I get those front feet up. Off. Good. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this behavior on cue, on a verbal cue. So I'll give her the verbal cue then use that luring hand motion, but without food. And once I get those two feet up, I'll click and treat. Lucy, pause up. Good. Off. Good. And again, pause up. Good. Off. Good. Pause up. Nice. So after a few repetitions, off, I can start to fade my visual assistance. Pause up. Nice, good girl. Off, oops. Off, good. Pause up. Yeah, until eventually I don't need that at all. Off, good, it can just be verbal. Pause up, excellent, and off. <laughs> good girl. Teaching pause up is a great trick that can be used for practical purposes as well. It can be used on walks, doing a little doggy parkour to help improve the walk and improve mental stimulation. It also is a great workout. As you can see, when the dog puts their front feet up on the object, more weight is placed on the rear legs, which helps improve muscle. With that in mind, we wanna keep training sessions short. Two to three minutes at a time, once or twice a day, is enough to work the dog out and teach this skill. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and grab your clicker and treats, find an object and an area with some traction, and let's start teaching our dogs paws up. Happy training. Yeah.